Gabriel Jesus, every Arsenal fan loves this guy already. Yes, people like football here. Arsenal beating Sevilla, not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 nil, 6 nil at the Emirates Stadium in the Emirates Club. I actually thought it'd be a decent game, you know, but it turns out Arsenal just absolutely wiped the floor with the Spanish club. It was no contest whatsoever. We played our strongest possible team and it showed because we absolutely demolished them in every facet of the game. Defence to attack, we were the better side. As always, if you're new around here, I react to every single Arsenal game as well as providing Arsenal news. And it's the last preseason game before the season starts. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for the season to start to react to every single Arsenal game again. Premier League, Europa League, Carabao Cup, FA Cup. We deliver every single one. So if you're new around here and you love Arsenal content, trust me, this is the place to be. Make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 1,000 subscribers. I'm very nearly there and you can help me. So yeah, this game, man, I mean, I was going to talk about a lot of positives and negatives going into the season because it's the last test we get before the season starts. But there weren't a lot of negatives. It was mostly a positive performance, which is amazing. It's brilliant. But another part of me is like, I wish there was something negative to talk about so at least we have something to improve on going into the season, something to work on. At times when you're at your highest point, you get complacent. So I'm just hoping the boys don't look at this and get complacent to start the season. So I'm telling you, no matter what the result was today, 6-0, 1-0, losing even, Crystal Palace on Friday night will not be an easy game, man. Make no mistake about it whatsoever. But yeah, this is a great confidence booster, a great way to kick our way into the season. We've won every single Premier League, um, Premier League, won every single preseason game, the best possible way to play your preseason fixtures. This game here, we were lightning out the blocks, man. I love the way we pressed to start the game as a team. One of the downfalls for us, I felt, was we don't start games quick enough, but Arteta's drilled into these players to press. From the get-go, Erdegaard, our new captain of this football club, not a massive fan that decision. I would have chosen a bit more of like a commanding centre back like Gabriel myself. But either way, I can't fault the geezer's press, man. He's the first player to press the team every time someone gets the ball. It's Erdegaard pressing them. Then it's followed by Martinelli, followed by Saka, followed by Jesus. Xhaka gets in with the mix. We're pressing like a team and we're pressing with structure. It's not just headless chickens chasing the ball now. And I love to see that from this Arsenal side. We pressed really well and we got our opening goal. Instantly, it was a ball over the top and then Saka got bundled to the ground by Rekic, the brother of Omar Rekic, uh, who plays for Arsenal. So yeah, that was a bit interesting. It was a definite penalty, very clumsy from him. Brought Saka to the ground, but Bukaya Saka dispatching another penalty. Fair play to him. Since the Euros, he's worked on his penalties and he's been absolutely outstanding for us. He scored a few. I remember against Chelsea United in particular last season. Pressure penalties, the guy steps up. That's big from Bukaya Saka. And he made it 1-0. And then to make it 2-0, who do you think scored it? Of course, the man of the moment, Gabriel Jesus. Low ball from Granite Xhaka, I believe. Got spilled by the keeper, but Jesus on the scene to score. That's my favourite thing about Jesus, right? Right place, right time. Fox in the box. That's what I'm going to call him. So many parts of being a striker, right? It's not just about your finishing. It's about knowing where to be at the right time. You'll notice it next time if you haven't already. On set pieces, especially corners, Gabriel Jesus always hangs around the back of the box. He always picks up the loose pieces from corners whenever someone heads it out. If you didn't notice it this game, you'll notice it the next Arsenal game we play. He's in the right place at the right time, man. Pep Guardiola's done some A-star like drilling with him and training with him to get it into his head where to be to score your goals. Because that's half of it is as a striker, right? You can be the best finisher on the planet, but if you're not in the right place, you ain't finishing nothing. And he's in the right place, so he's giving himself the best possible opportunity to dispatch his goals and I love to see that from Gabriel Jesus that made it 2-0 and then 3-0 literally seconds later if that Xhaka over the top I think it was or it might have been Zinchenko can't remember either way Gabriel Jesus on the scene sliding across and put it into the corner of the net outstanding finish to make it 3-0 Arsenal and then 4-0 straight after the keeper Bono had an absolute horror show. Cleared it straight to Bukaya Saka, who first time whipped it into the back of the net, went through the keeper's legs, and it was a bit of a shoddy finish, but didn't matter too much. The main thing was that it made it 4-0. And yeah, that was four goals in 10 minutes. Completely blew Sevilla out of the water. At that point, it was a bit of a training game by that stage, man. We were completely, the game was finished after 20 minutes. We were just knocking the ball about, having some nice movement, nice passing. A player that really stood out for me was, Gab uh, not Gabriel, Gabriel did, but William Saliba. This geezer, Rolls-Royce centre-back, man. He's like a brand new centre-back signing 
for me, he has to start. I said it from before, him and Gabriel have to be our two centre-backs. Ben White can play right back for now. Saliba today was absolutely unbelievable. The way he just commanded the centre-back position, man, no one got past him. He's given me like Varane vibes in terms of he's a tall guy, he's six foot four, but he's still quick, he's still agile, he still knows how to use his feet. Getting out of strict, uh, tricky situations, that was his forte. Good close control of the football, definitely a new era centre-back because he's got that good confidence with the ball at his feet. He was absolutely unbelievable today, William Saliba. Big up to him. Zinchenko as well, left-back. Finally, a left-back that can throw the ball in properly, man. None of these foul throws that Tavares was doing. Did absolutely brilliant today, Zinchenko. I noticed him and Xhaka were switching positions as well. I see the way Arteta is building this team. He's building a team where players can play multiple positions on the pitch. Because at times, Zinchenko was slotting into left centre mid and Xhaka was pulling back into left-back. So we've got a team that can kind of switch positions all around the pitch. And I like to see that. You want to see a versatile team. I remember, uh, was it Barcelona, I think, that was training in different positions. So just in case I was a counter-attack or something, you were always adept at playing different positions so you're never out of place on the football pitch. Now, Arteta's bringing something similar to this Arsenal side and I like to see it. Going to the second half, it was the same team that came out. No changes at half-time. It took us a while to get going again. Nice passing, but we eventually did get our goal. Hat-trick by Gabriel Jesus. Unbelievable finish as well. At the back, just a fox of the box as well as the corner. Got headed in and then it got cleared out by the keeper. Touch and then bang into the top corner by Jesus in the centre of the box. Unbelievable finish. Made it 5-0. Got his hat-trick. Then got taken off straight after. And then to wrap it all up, counter-attack FC again. Ball got played through. Martinelli stayed onside because he was in his own half. And then was able to sweaty it to Eddie and Ketia to wrap up the party. 6-0 to Arsenal. Our last preseason game. Absolutely commanding victory. No complaints whatsoever. We now head into the Premier League season to play Crystal Palace. And I'm excited. I know it's always bad when you're excited as a football fan because there's so much that can go wrong. But for once, I'm actually excited. It's going to be a tough game against Crystal Palace, but we're in the best possible form. It's the best possible preparations we could have done to go into this Premier League season. Last season, we were losing to Chelsea and Tottenham in pre-season. And it showed because then we lost our first three games of the Premier League season. This time out, we've won every single preseason game. We've looked confident. We've looked comfortable. We've had our full team basically bar maybe Tierney, Tomiyasu and Fabio Vieira, we're in the best possible position to get going. Let's end with the player ratings now, as I always do. In goal, Aaron Ramsdale, didn't have much to do, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Distribution was decent at times, although to be fair, the camera kept cutting out from Arsenal's stream. I was a bit annoyed about that, they kept cutting out when I was trying to, uh, in the middle of attacks, to just show random points. I was like, what's going on, man, just show the game. But yeah, either way, decent today. No goals conceded, wasn't tested much, to be honest, and any of the shots Sevilla had was well off target. But yeah, decent overall from Ramsdale. Right back, Ben White. Makeshift right back. He did decent today. 8 out of 10, Ben White. No complaints whatsoever from him. Centre back, William Saliba. 9 out of 10 for my boy there. Unbelievable again. Needs to start the Premier League season. Thank God we're seeing him in this Arsenal team again, man. It's been way too long. Next to him, Gabriel, his partner. 8.5 out of 10. Had a shaky part in the first part, uh, in the first like kind of 10 minutes where he let the ball run across him. But other than that, commanding as well. Beautiful performance from him. Zinchenko next door, also an 8.5 out of 10. Great game from him. Moving into the midfield, Thomas Partey. Had a lot of things around him with the whole allegations, etc. Kept it out of his head and played a really good game today. Kept the ball ticking from back to front. Always a presence on the football. 8.5 out of 10 for Thomas Partey. And Granit Xhaka next to him, I'll give an 8.5 out of 10 as well. Xhaka attempted two, it would have been world-class goals. He had an overhead kick in the first half. Then in the second half, he tried like a Lucas Podolski slash Olivier Giroud volley on his left foot that went just over. But I'm seeing uh, Granit Xhaka in more advanced positions and I'm, I like it. I like seeing him a bit more advanced in like a number eight position rather than sitting back. It seems to suit him well and he played very well today as well. Let's go on to the attackers that ran the show today. Bukaya Saka, nine out of ten. Two goals for him. A bit times when he lost the ball on attacks where he's just a little bit indecisive. But other than that, great game. Martin Odegaard next door, 8.5 out of 10. He played great as well. Couple also miss-ups towards the end of the game. But look, he's an attacker. You're going to make mistakes. I'm completely fine with that. A couple of times he back it and just didn't quite come off. But other than that, running the show from midfield as he always does. Martinelli as well, 8 out of 10. Always a presence. Running down the left side. Assisted last goal as well. Unbelievable. And then the main man, man the match for me. Gabriel Jesus, 10 out of 10, 
What's there to say? Clinical finishing, right position at the right time, pressing. But also what surprised me today, his link-up play was incredible. You can tell, I know I keep saying it, but you can tell he's a Pep Guardiola uh, trained player. The way he was linking up with Erdegaard and Partey and Xhaka and Saka and Martinelli, he's got that ball playing ability with him and I love to see it. I remember Giroud was a great link-up player. Lacazette was in a way and Aubameyang wasn't really, but Jesus is looking like a great link-up player for Arsenal as well. And I like to see that because he looks fluid with our other attackers. But yeah, that's my reaction and review to Arsenal beating Sevilla 6-0 in the Emirates Cup. As always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Arsenal-related content, I'll be covering Arsenal throughout the whole of next season. Super excited. Make sure you subscribe down below and let me know in the comment section where you believe Arsenal will finish in the upcoming season. I've been Football, and I hope to see you lot in the next video.